Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Wednesday morning, hoping all is well with you. Today, I wanted to touch on another aspect of this Federal Kratom Consumer Protection Act, so to speak, and, um, you know, that's being proposed in both the House and the Senate right now, and it's really just a quick jab that, that this part of the bill gets me. I read this part, and it just made me laugh. So here it is. It's not inherently funny, I guess, but here it is. It says in the bill, under the part of establishment, no later than 30 days after the date of enactment of this act, the secretary shall convene a task force to be known as the Kratom Research Task Force to coordinate Kratom-related research conducted or supported by the federal government. And then the initial report, not later than 90 days after the date of the enactment, um, they shall submit to Congress, the secretary and the commissioner, a report that details all federally funded Kratom related research that has begun or been completed prior to such date of enactment. And then quarterly, they're going to continue to submit those reports. Also an analysis of the results of all such research. So <laughs> I here's the reason why I think that that this is funny. And, and it goes on to say that you they'll then like basically convene public meetings with experts and researchers and they'll put together a public report and it will be published on the website of the Food and Drug Administration um, with the quarterly in accordance with the quarterly report submitted under this uh, act. So I think that this is funny and it just got me because the FDA does not like Kratom. I think we all know that. And they have not been open to it whatsoever, nor have they wanted to do open research whatsoever. It is pretty funny to me that they're now, if this is passed, going to have to see reports on Kratom research basically like handed to them every single quarter for the next two years at least. And um, like first 90 days after the act and then every quarter afterwards. And it's just going to be kind of like a, a reminder <laughs> every single time. They're going to be like, oh my god, this report's coming again. Like, there's more information now. Um, I don't know. I just found, I just, it tickled me to think that, that after all this time of them trying to ban it two times, three times, um, that they're going to have to now, they're like mandated to have to look at this report and publish, and publish like research, but publicly available research on their website which is probably going to consist of the sort of stuff they don't want to pay attention to. Now, the, the reports that they're talking about, though, are all federally funded or federally involved. So um, I'm going to assume that more of that research than publicly is going to be kind of more negative towards Kratom. I mean, I don't know that, but I think that it's going to be that way. So th there's that. Um, and I will be interested to see that. It says it's only going to be looking at stuff that's been like, you know, in in process and or like, you know, nearly completed or just completed or completed in the past, like not something that's going to happen or that has, is starting now, you know, it's only going to be looking at research federally funded or federally involved that has been completed or is completing. Um, so it's going to be looking at stuff that's not as up to date. However, 
it's still going to consist of information that's, that's, you know, information. And to have it all consolidated in one place, fed to people quarterly, and then put, in, you know, side by side with publicly available research um, and contrasted with the sorts of things the FDA has been saying over the years. I mean, the FDA, the DEA's website, like, you know, the Mayo Clinic, like they, they haven't updated their Kratom page in four years, you know, like things have happened. And it's not like, you know, Kratom in and of itself has become safer or anything. I'm not saying that, but like more research keeps coming out about it. And it's just going to seem kind of funny to me. Ultimately, this is why I laughed too. We're going to look at this website and it's going to be like, oh, the most recent research we have, 2019. And then all of a sudden, like quarterly reports from 2023, and it might say something very different. (laughs) So it's just going to kind of be like this in your face moment for whoever maybe it's going to be your in your face moment for me maybe they're going to find horrifically terrible things about kratom by consolidating all this research and that'll be great and the fda will cheer but i think that it's going to go the other way and what's going to happen is a website with you know information that's been up there since 2019 is all of a sudden going to start having a lot of information put up every quarter that is like a very thorough culmination of of research on kratom and it's going to say um, yeah, what they said in 2019 that they've been showing you this whole time. Um, here's 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 more information now that is different. <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know. It just kind of got me. Uh, whatever. Okay. Don't know if you all find it as funny as I do, but I I don't know. I would love to be someone who's like a fly on the wall of an office of an FDA person who's totally anti kratom. Um, have to like you know be the person to, to publish it on their wordpress fda website <laughs> like why do i have to be the one to hit the button oh, okay i'm done i don't even know if they use wordpress see y'all tomorrow everyone <laughs> you're probably sick of this by now uh talk to y'all then thanks so much for listening bye bye